Hi, thank you so much. My name is Tracy Holland. I'm the co-founder and chairman of Hatch Beauty Brands based here in Los Angeles, California. I'm so excited today to introduce you to Jewel, who has become a mentor. She's become an advisor, a product development um, partner of Hatch Beauties in developing the NatureWell brand of ingestibles, which is launching in the next 90 days or so with a major retailer across the United States. Um, we're so grateful for the partnership. We've learned so much in the last year in working on this project together. And so today I'm really excited to be able to announce the partnership and our launch of NatureWell Ingestibles with Jewel. So thank you so much for taking time. I know you have a really busy day and I'm excited to hear a little bit about what you're working on. Um, how are you doing? I'm doing really well. I, uh, when we met several years ago, I was really inspired by your commitment, uh, the type of brand that you're building, and excited we finally found a way to work together on a project that I think meets both of our values, and I'm excited to bring it to the world. Me too. I am so excited. Do you want to share with everyone a little bit about what you've been working on recently? I was so excited to I have been keeping secret this last year your uh, your um, the song that you just dropped and then some of your other projects. And I just wondered, do you want to talk a little bit about what you've been up to? I've been working in the mental health space for about the last five or six years uh, with a real specific focus where I've moved almost all of my business into that realm. It started when I was young. I moved out when I was 15. I had an abusive relationship with my dad. Uh, I started paying rent and getting myself through school. I didn't want to be a statistic. I knew that typically kids like me end up becoming a st statistic. We repeat the cycle we were raised by. I didn't want that to happen to me. And so I set out really deliberately to try and learn a new emotional language. I ended up homeless when I was 18 because I turned down the sexual advances of a boss when I wouldn't sleep with him. He didn't give me my paycheck and fired me. Couldn't pay my rent, started living in my car. My car got stolen. I was homeless for about a year, having really bad panic attacks, became agoraphobic, and realized I would die on the streets or figure out how to change. And that's when I really started developing exercises and tools that worked with the addictive nature of the brain. You know, if our brains are addictive, there must be a reason why. There must be an evolutionary reason that benefits us. And so that's when I began really developing a series of tools that helped me curate my thoughts, uh, that helped me look at habit loops. And I was sick a lot. I had bad kidneys. So I started studying with the best nutritionists, um, first locally and then nationally as I you know, got off the streets. So working in food as medicine, working with herbal supplements, working with thought curation, um, those have been my real passions and writing, of course. So I tried to set out and get an education in all of those things. And now it's really been coming full circle. I founded a youth foundation 18 years ago. We take at-risk youth with suicidal ideation. We give them that toolkit, the toolkit that I developed, been proven to work now by neuroscientists. We work with their nutrition. We work with their supplements. Um, and very proud, 95% of our kids earned their own scholarships. 90% of them are Ivy League and they understand the importance of sleep and nutrition. It's amazing. You've given the world so many incredible gifts, your music, your writing, and the education you're doing for these young people, impacting people's lives. I think the thing that I was most inspired by when I first met with you, your presence is incredible, um, but your true passion about eating and wellness and well-being, kind of this, the, the all aspects of the holistic person was really where I found such a connection to you and was so inspired with all the work that you've done in the wellness space, in the mental health space, and being in the well-being space. Talk to me about, in terms of your involvement with Nature Well and Hatch Beauty Brands, what was it that you saw as a vision for yourself in bringing a product line to life or to translate some of the work that you've done into actual product? 
You know, it's funny. All my fans ask me about my skin. How can they get skin like mine? And it's not just a one simple thing like use this one eye cream. It has to be a holistic approach. It has to include diet. It has to include ingestibles um, as well as topical things. It has to include mindfulness and meditation. We have to handle our stress levels. So when you and I met, I really saw this amazing and exciting opportunity to marry all the things that I love, um, which are quality quality ingredients that we know work, letting people have relief for pain points, whether it's a lack of sleep or solving for anxiety or wanting to increase the elasticity of their skin, whatever the needs are, and helping deliver things that are holistically balanced. So with our Nature Well line, we're able to have teas, ingestibles, vitamins, collagen, as well as topical products. And I feel really good about this because it fits my need to have a holistic approach and I know it's something that Hatch Beauty brands and especially Nature Well really care about. Yeah, it's actually been such a dream come true for me over the last year to have such learnings in the space of wellness and in ingestibles. And I mean, healthy lifestyle does make a difference, right? Exercise every single day has been my go-to for my own mental health and my own well-being and being able to sleep well at night and little things like not reading my iPad at 10 o'clock <laughs> helps me to be able to fall asleep. So I feel like we're learning as we evolve what wellness, well-being, and health mean. But I think it's a dream to be able to bring the ingestible part of this brand to life with you um, and with your oversight. Because even just your inspiration around writing the intentions and quotes that went inside the package was really a lot of fun for me. Are you a writer? Is that where music and your talent comes from? Is it first started writing? Because I read about your story around hands and watching you write. Yeah, I've been writing longer than anything else. It definitely is sort of my first language or my first love. Everything seems to extend from that, whether it's poetry or songs. And in working with Nature Well, getting to really write quotes, um, really thoughtful intentions, because people are, are hungry. You know, there's a tremendous need in the population for well curated, trustworthy, authentic um, leadership. And what I really love about our partnership is we can supply that in a really three dimensional way. Um, with yeah. the types of products that we're making, with the intention and the packaging, with the way that we want to interact with our consumer. Uh, it just has a very authentic, um, streamlined, uh, really consistent feel. And I really love that. One of the other things that I thought was interesting um, as we talked about this was the idea that we're bringing what I would consider to be kind of a prestige perspective with some of the ingredients and the, the thoughtfulness around the solutions and the, the natural aspects and the heritage of some of these passed down ingredients that have gone generationally, you know, Chinese medicine and all of the um, wisdom that goes into the natural ingredients and then bringing those into a more mainstream um, environment for a more mainstream customer to have a very easy problem solution approach um, and even as we think about where we're going to be launching Nature Well and what we're going to make available to the customer, in terms of next generation of product for what I would call an, an everyday consumer where they'll be able to buy and find Nature Well in their local, local market, where do you see this trend going for wellness and, and health and ingestibles? What's your instinct of, as to where we're headed? I think two things. One is the marketplace is really saturated. You know, um, being able to get online and look up products, there's so many products, it's overwhelming. So I think having really trusted ambassadors that can help curate where we know we can go to that person for great advice, um, that's what my fans have really looked to me for. I know it's where I can help them save time. They trust me, they trust my research. Um, and I think that type of thing's really needed and making sure we defend that authenticity more than anything else. The other thing is that I think democratizing wellness, you know, something I'm very passionate about is, 
it's it was hard for me to acquire the amount of education that I have in the wellness space. It's been 30 years of learning, of trying to find the best doctors, of finding the best experts. The only time I've actually ever name dropped my name wasn't to get a restaurant table. It was to try and find the best doctor um, that are like rock stars in their own right. And they're very hard to get a hold of and to learn from. And not everybody has the time that I've had, much less the access or ability to do that. So I feel like it's a responsibility to be able to pass that on, to take what I've learned, make sure I can disseminate it. You know, I, I love creating high quality products that are affordable, that democratize wellness. Um, you should be able to get high quality, good ingredients that work, that make you feel better, that are affordable. So for me, that's where I really love our focus. That's why I love our partnership, sort of that mastige uh, aspect. I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. And and really, I know experience drives so much of how consumers engage, and that's something you're so great at. Where do you sort of see these trends going in the next three to five years? You know, it's interesting. I'm noticing all the candles that you have behind you. You know, this experiential sensorial approach to wellness is so multidimensional in terms of how I think consumers are going to start to become aware of how well-being and balance makes an impact on mood and how well-being and balance makes an impact on how they interface with their family. So I would say that as Hatch is innovating and looking at next generation product, we're really being thoughtful about the fact that we're talking to a whole person. So even the transition into your feminine energy, right? Going from your da- your daytime job where you do a board meeting and you meet with the bank and then you have your private equity partner and you're really wearing your armor and then making the shift or transition into being at home and being with your children and feeling like you wanna rebalance Things like lighting a candle and changing the, the the scent and the temperature in the room. And then at least for me and what I, I know that our research is showing is that customers want wellness in all of these various delivery systems that aren't their traditional supplement. So if it means putting herbal tea additive into your favorite tea so that you can really get a benefit around feeling good or doing a mood uplift or taking down the stress. I think we have additives that are really interesting that go sublingual. Um, Certainly the supplement gummies are a great way to be able to grab a little extra boost in your day by having ginseng or um, one of the gingers and putting it into a supplement gummy and being able to have a little sweetness with your wellness um, product. So I think as we continue to innovate together and look at what happens next generation product, we're gonna get to play with some different ways to bring a total experience into that wellness environment that may be as simple as just changing the way the room smells or changing how you're, you know, what you add to your bath or the way you spice up your tea um, or your water and take that on the go. So I'm really I'm really looking forward to it. It's changed my life. I mean, beauty is a first passion of ours, and it's been a decade of doing that that type of work, and it's been phenomenal. But I feel so excited to to journey on with you into the wellness and adjustable space and really get as well steeped in that as we are in beauty. Yeah, I love treating what I call the whole human. Um, yeah. You know, a lot of times growing up, we only get an education in one area. You know, maybe I was raised in a family of entrepreneurs and we were taught business, um, but maybe my relationship fitness wasn't as great, or maybe my parenting fitness isn't as great, or maybe my physical fitness or my mental fitness. And so helping people be supported in all the areas it takes to be a human all the stuff we don't learn in school to me is what's so interesting about the space it's why i started the wellness festival um, in cincinnati with kroger where we bring together so many amazing brands to be able to share with people where it's information it's medical it's beauty it's nutrition it's physical again just that idea of democratizing wellness and i love what you're saying about scent 
because, you know, as you know, it skips so many parts of our brain and goes right to just one of the most primordial parts of our brain and goes right to mood elevation instantly. Um, it can do things for a scent that very few other things can. So essential oils and scents, I agree, are really such an incredible and easy way to hack into a mood change. Yeah, we're going to have fun. Mm-hmm. And ultimately, if we're not having fun, we don't want to do it. That's yes, our- I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Life is too short and it's too important it to our wellness. Too- <laughs> right? Oh my gosh. So I think we're going to move to the audience questions. What is one piece of advice you would give our audience about becoming more attuned to women's inner health as outer beauty? I guess I would really start with just acknowledging that women exist in the world differently than men. And taking time to become familiar with how you exist is really important. It's why meditation is really great because it gives us a chance to feel into our own energy. I make decisions very differently than a man. That used to make me feel really badly until I realized it was actually an asset. It was a real strength. Um, And once I stopped trying to be like somebody else, and spent that same amount of energy into investigating how I work, um, how I build a business, how I function in the world, Uh, it really became life-changing. I think women internalize stress very differently. It affects our hormones very differently. All the women in my company, I actually have them test their hormones when they're in their 20s so they can get their base levels because I've really learned over the last 25 years that women in my industry that travel as much as we do, we get adrenal, we get adrenal burnout mm-hmm. much quicker in a much different way than our men counterparts do. And so our hormones really get affected. Um, adrenal, adrenal fatigue leads to our livers processing our hormones differently and how our tissues absorb those hormones get affected. Um, and so I bet you I've helped more women in their 30s look at their hormone levels and how to supplement and take care of them and their adrenal function. Uh, I mean, so many women, it's such a critical need. So learning things like that, learning how we process the world in our environment, and then how to support that I think is really important, as well as realizing our mental health affects our physical beauty. Um, I've had an incredibly traumatic, very stressful life, but I'm very proud that I've taken care of myself. I've always meditated. I've always uh, had time to myself to get away, to get quiet. I've really valued silence and made that a priority. And I really think it's one of the reasons I look like I do at 46 is because I've taken care of my internal landscape and it's affected my external landscape. And the more we can teach women that self-care is beauty care, the -hmm. better. It just helps incentivize them. No question. I... I'm turning 40 again this year. I think it's my eighth year. <laughs> it's a, it is a state of mental, it's a mental state, right? But it's so true. Meditation absolutely unwinds the clock, doesn't it? Yeah, it affects our telomere health. You know, I'm sure everybody watching knows about our telomeres and how that affects our aging. And yes. you can you can affect the length of your telomere. You can take care of yourself and watch those levels change, those lengths change. And so I think it's important that we can, again, help democratize this type of information so people know what they can do. I would love to go through my hormone report with you at some point, if we could talk I'm about down. that. I'm down. I am totally oh, down. <laughs> That's like the best. That would be the best gift. Incredible. <laughs> I have a question for you from uh, the audience. It said, Tracy, as you look at wellness, which categories represent big mass market opportunities moving forward? Can you give us an indication of what's next for Hatch Beauty? Um, I would say we're gonna continue to do what we know best, which is to really listen to the consumer, to be really thoughtful and mindful of what the retailer is needing and how we can assist by supporting with our uh, trend information and our consumer feedback, what the consumer is looking for, and then continue to work with experts like you on the innovation of the product. Because without you, we don't have, our compass isn't set. So we need, we need someone who has the deep knowledge and expertise, not only scholastically, but someone who's made and used these products on themselves 
and know that they work. So if we keep delivering on our consumer promise of what we make and and deliver on that, we're I think we're tracking, you know. Joel, thanks so much for your time. Have a wonderful evening. I know you have a big night planned, so I really appreciate it. And um, I'll see you soon. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure to be able to hang out with you today and get to share with people. And I look forward to seeing us on all the shelves. (laughs) Yay! (laughs) All right, bye. Bye.